Hi, Rodrigo. Hi, teacher. Good How evening. are you? Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? I am fine with okay. my long, high, long hair. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay. It's the quarantine. Blame it on the quarantine. Yeah, for the quarantine. <laughs> All right. So how are you today? I'm fine. I'm, I'm so busy. Yeah. Because for, uh, for my, my job. Right. Because work. Uh, is is difficult difficult to to work uh, with without your tools. Right. Yes, I understand. Okay. In, in, on in the in the office is different right. because uh, we we can use um, a lot of tools, and in 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 my house is. Um, I have the internet, a right. computer, but it's different. Right, and I know. The world is, is hot too. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have AC and in the office you probably do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I think it's, it's a matter of um, also like getting used to the new conditions. It's also like you have to adjust to that. So that makes it tougher sometimes. Yeah, it's not the same as working at the office and working from home. <laughs> yeah. You see, um, yesterday I, I can't. Uh, you log couldn't. In. You couldn't log in. I, yes, I, I couldn't uh, because uh, I don't remember. But yeah. I, okay, I understand. I have a lot of a lot of issues in, okay. in my in my job. Okay. All right, well, but thank you for being here tonight. And hopefully you will be able to be here also tomorrow, which is the last day of the course, all right? So we okay. finish tomorrow, all right, so that's, that's what it's, I mean, we're pretty much wrapping up today and tomorrow, okay? Very good. So thank you, Rodrigo, for being here. Hi, Robert, hi, Maribel. How are Hello. you guys? How are you, Robert? How was your day? Uh, it was just like a little bit busy, but uh, it, it was okay. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. Very good. Maribel. Hi, Maribel. Hi, Freddy. Hi, guys. Maribel, are you there? <laughs> Hi, Freddy. All right, very good. Um, well, today, Nidia is not going to be able to join us because she said that she had a meeting from work. Okay, uh, we're expecting Guillermo and the other girls to join in. All right, so hopefully they'll be able to do it, to do it in a couple of minutes. Uh, in the meantime, guys, I just sent the PPT that we're gonna be working uh, today with, all right? It's a continuation of the last um, two, which is the same one, but I just added more slides, all right? So I hope you can... Um, see it while we start working pretty much right away. Yesterday for Rodrigo that was not in class, we were working on our mind maps, all right, based on the questions that we have on the platform, okay? So uh, the mind maps are not very difficult if you are, like, if you're able to organize your ideas, which that's what it's about, actually. The mind map helps us to organize the ideas that we have regarding the question that is on the essay, all right? So for example, I'm just gonna show you this one, um, Rodri here that we worked on yesterday. This is the mind map, this is the, the, the uh, PPT. And these we worked with the rest of your classmates making mind maps of the questions that uh, we have on the platform, on the video, and the platform as in exercises, okay? So they were working on this one right here. This, this was the first question that they worked on, and the question was, there's nothing that an educated person can teach an educated person. That was the question um, from the essay, all right? Uh -huh. So that, what's on bold, it's supposed to be on the middle, on the bubble of the middle, uh, Rodrigo. And from there, you take your ideas, okay? okay? If you notice, we have four ideas here that they become our supporting ideas, the ideas that are going to help the main or the, the topic question in order for us to succeed writing an okay essay, okay? 
Again, okay. this is not just for Rodrigo, just reminding the rest of you guys that if you notice it bubbles the idea in the center, but then has many other ideas, all right? Which are like yes. other supporting ideas that helps us the supporting idea to help us the main, to get to the main um, topic, let's say, or to the main question, all right? So it's a chain, all right? So yesterday we were working with three questions. This one that I just showed you that is on the video from the platform and the other two that are also from the platform, but from the uh, real essays that you have to write or type in, all right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, on the platform, we have two essays or two questions, all right? I'm expecting at least for you to do one. Remember that these um, essay questions are not graded on the platform. You have to write them and you have to either take a picture and you send it to me or you type it in Word as a Word document and you like send it to uh, the WhatsApp and then that's how I'll download it. All right. So it's either way. All right. The thing is that I want you to know that it's not being evaluated on the platform. I'll evaluate it for you. All right. So. With that in mind, we're gonna go back. Um, yesterday, we were working, let, let me just get this one, guys. Give me a second, please, here. I need to, just give me one second. I need to get the questions that we were working with yesterday from the platform, and we're gonna uh, continue doing this, okay? Just let me get this open. Just give me a second here. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. So this is the ones that these are the ones that we're working with. Uh, today because the idea is for you to like or like for you to advance a little bit on the essay that we're going to be writing. Remember that you can choose or or if you have enough time and you want to practice more you can do both. All right so these are the two for the rest of you guys that we did yesterday. Uh, we had the, the best teacher is one who is very knowledgeable about the subject matter that is one of the questions of the essay and the other one is compare and contrast so in other words, you're making a comparison and contrast essay, uh, your way of life, that of your parents, which way of life do you think would be more satisfying to future generations? Again, you have to have reasons to ex uh, or examples to support your opinion. I believe that yesterday, most of us, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, Freddy, Robert, Maribel, you guys finished the first one, right? Making the mind map of the first one. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah, were you able yeah. to finish the mind map for the second one or not? Yeah. No. No, oh, right? No. We no. You didn't do that one, right? Robert, what about you? Were you able to finish the mind map for the second question, Robert? Unfortunately, no, because I was not able uh, to download the PowerPoint presentation. Oh, in order all right. to start. Okay, okay, don't worry about it. So this is what we're going to do then, okay? So we're going to go in a couple of uh, minutes, we're going to go and we're going to finish the mind map for this second question. And also, I want to show you this. This is the presentation I just sent to the group before we started. And this is what we're going to be talking about, introductions, all right? Because remember just, I mean, an introduction is the first impression. All right, the first impression for everything. And also on our essays, we make the first impression through an introduction. So you need to be really careful with the introduction in order for you to actually get the person that is evaluating you interested on your essay, okay? And for him or her to see that you are, like you know what you're doing, all right? So here we have the introductions. Rodrigo, can you begin reading for me, please, an effective essay? Okay, introduction. An effective essay begins with an introduction so that the reader knows what the essay is about. Mm -hmm. guidelines, guidelines. For writing, mm -hmm. guidelines for writing good 
Introduction, if introduction are presented below. Thank you. Okay, continue, Rodrigo, please. The writing introductions. Writing it introductions. To, to write an introduction for the independent writing tax, follow these steps. In the first sentence, introduce the general topic. Mm -hmm. In the next sentence, narrow the topic down to focus, focus more on the question. Mm -hmm. Three, restate the question in your own words in a statement form. Okay. Write a concluding sentence that indicates the controlling idea of the essay. This is the thesis statement. That is the thesis the statement. Very good. Thesis. Okay. If you guys, thank you, Rodrigo. If you guys follow these four simple steps, you would succeed on your, on your introduction, all right? Uh, if you have never written one, it might be a little bit confusing or difficult at first, but then, I mean, there's nothing to worry about, okay? So here, as, as Rodrigo uh, was reading, we have four steps. This is for you to keep anyway, all right? So um, it's really good for you guys to pay attention to it later. We're gonna move on to this. This is a, re, um, again related to introductions here, is this read the question below and the example introduction that follows, all right? Uh, Freddy, do you mind reading, hi? Do you mind reading, Freddy, for me? Yes, yeah, of course. Question, yes. Question, living in an apartment instead of a university dormitory has advantage and disadvantage. Advantages and disadvantages. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you advantages and disadvantages. Mm -hmm. Discuss some of the advantages and disadvantages of apartment living. Then state and defend your preference. Thank you. Continue, Freddy, please. Introduction. When a person decides to enter a university away from home, he or she must also consider living accommodations, although most universities offer student dormitories. A student frequently opt to live in an apartment. While there are many advantages to apartment living, there are also disadvantages. Before a student decides to live in an apartment, all of these aspects of that kind of living accommodation should be reviewed. Okay, very good. Um, okay, so that, hold on. Thank you, Freddy. That is the introduction of the person. If you notice, go back to the question, and I'm going to leave this with you anyway. Go back to the question, and this is um, exactly what this person is saying in other words, all right? But if you notice, he or she took the same question from the essay and put it on his or her introduction. Right at the, like almost at the end of the introductory paragraph, he or she says, before a student decides to live in an apartment, all of these aspects of uh, that kind of living accommodation should be reviewed. So I'm expecting to read what other aspects is he or she going to be talking about. That is her thesis statement, okay? Because that makes you kind of wonder, okay, so what is she going to be talking about or he going to be talking about, all right? Let's see, Robert, can you read number one, the first sentence? Number one. The first sentence introduces the general topic of it introduces the general topic of university living accommodations. Mm -hmm. When a person decides to enter a university away from home, he or she must also consider living accommodations. All right, very good. Go on with number two. The second sentence narrows the topic down to apartment living. Often, most universities offer st uh, student dormitories. The students frequently up to live in an apartment. Okay. Continue. The third sentence restates the specific question. While there are many advantages to apartment living, there are also disadvantages. And the last one. The fourth sentence, uh, sorry, the fourth sentence, it's the thesis statement, mm -hmm. gives the controlling idea of the essay. Essay. Mm -hmm. of, of the essay. 
before a student decides to live in an apartment, all the aspects of that kind of living accommodation should be reviewed. Excellent, very good. Okay, so if you notice, guys, what they did here, they took the introduction and they brought, uh, they actually like break it down or they broke it down on those four stages that we saw here. First, in the first sentence, introduces the general topic and they did it here and they, the, what I like about this is they give you like the how the person actually wrote it on the essay, right? And it refers back to the, the first step. The second sentence narrows the topic down to apartment living, which corresponds, if you read the question of the essay, that's exactly what they are asking, all right? Number three, or the third, restates the specific question. While there are many advantages to apartment living, there are also disadvantages. So when I read your introduction, I understand that you're going to talk about somewhere on your essay about advantages and about disadvantages. And you're actually following my question from the essay, all right? And the last one, uh, that's where like, Everything else is already given to you. You just need to put it in the right order. The thesis statement is not given anywhere on my question. You make this statement. It's your thesis statement. It's your strongest point. That's what you are going to be like guiding your essay to that direction, all right? So that's the thesis statement. So with this in mind, I wanted to show you this because today, after we finish the mind map of the second question, I want you to choose between essay number one or essay number two, or in other words, the first question or now that you have your mind map, I wanna give you some time and try to write the intro of your essay, okay? And you're going to be following these four steps there that they are outlined here, or you can actually go back to this example and kind of go back and forth, seeing how he or she wrote it, in order for you to actually fulfill the four steps. You understand what we're going to be working on today? Yeah? Yes? All right, very good. So we're going to, I'm gonna stop sharing this right now. What I want you to do right now is I'm gonna send you, hi Guillermo. I'm gonna, and Julia, I said hi to Julia. Uh, um, we're gonna stop uh, right now. We're gonna go back to your groups. Today you're not probably gonna be working with the same person you were working with yesterday. All right, but that's okay. Uh, remember the first task that you're actually doing is this. I'm just gonna show it to you because I don't know if everybody has the, uh, the may take a picture of this right now of the second question. Well, Rodrigo, you may take pictures of both questions because you were not, and Julia also was not here yesterday. So take a picture of this one, Rodrigo and Julia, because you're supposed to make the mind map, all right? Okay and then take the picture of these two, the second one, and make the mind map. Once you finish your mind maps, I want you to start writing your introduction, following the steps. I already sent the presentation, so in case, uh, I mean, it, it's better because you can open it up, or if you want, I can show it to you and you may take a picture, however you want, it works for me. The idea is I send you to your groups because, for example, if I'm working with Rodrigo, I can say, Rodrigo, Listen to my to my sent, to my introduction, and then Rodrigo can listen to it, right? And say, mm, I think the the step number two is missing, all right? Or what about your thesis statement? I don't get it quite right. What are you gonna be really talking about? What's your this, all right? That's the idea behind it. So, did you finish taking the pictures here? Sure. Yes, Rodrigo. Uh, I need to see the the complete picture. Ah, please. Of, of both questions, both Rodrigo. No, the second question, the second one. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Like that? Thank you. Thank yeah, you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. You're welcome. Okay. All right. Um, I don't know. Ro uh, Robert, do you want me to, to uh, put the uh, a slide of the introduction or you already have the PPT with you? Robert? No? Okay. Well. In case you guys want to take a picture, this is this is the um, these are the four steps. I don't know if you're going to take a picture of this. If you can have it on your phone quicker, like a, a screenshot. All right, and then I'll I'll go on with the other one, so you guys can. I mean, I, I already sent the presentation, but I don't know. Sometimes it's photo. Okay. 
All right, and this is the other one. I don't know if you're gonna take a picture of this one too. You want me to go back to the other one, Rodrigo? Uh, this one, Rodrigo? Thanks. Yes, I, I, have, I have the presentation. Oh, okay, okay, perfect, okay. Yeah, I was wondering because I don't know if Robert was able to download it. Okay, so let's get ready then. I'm gonna send you to your groups. Work, if you, if you were in class yesterday, I know you, you had time to do the mind map for the first question. If you were not in class yesterday, do the mind map for both questions and then move on to the in, uh, introductory paragraph. I'm gonna be getting into your groups to see how, are you, how you're doing and everything, okay? So the idea is for you to be there, all right? And uh, we'll have the rest of the class to work on it. So you advance on this exercise anyway that you have to send it to me by the end of this week. So here we go. Freddy just left, I guess he had a problem with his internet connection today. All right, you may click on your um, groups now.
first step is in the first sentence, I introduce the general topic. Uh -huh. The general topic is about the best, this bit, the best teacher. Uh, and then about the quality, the qualities of the best teacher. Okay, and we can write the qualities. qualities the best teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, Maribel. Hi. I I have a question. Ah, uh, yes. We we are we are doing uh, the this the paragraph about the teachers. The introductory paragraph about yeah the first question. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So uh, uh, we don't have to. We, we don't have to write about the that we are agree, uh, no. agree with the, with the no. question i mean oh, okay okay i mean at the end of the introductory paragraph uh, maribel you need to state uh, something uh -huh, uh -huh. that is going to tell me in a way what your opinion about it is but you don't have to necessarily say i agree uh -huh, uh -huh. as such verdad sino que es como que hinting it Either that you agree or disagree, but not really saying it because that's what your essay is going to like the, um, your point of view through the whole essay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay. So if you notice on the example that we were reading, um, I'm just going to put it so we can like see it again here. On this one right here, guys, if you notice on the very last um, sentence, let's say, of this introductory paragraph, he or she says, before a student decides to live in an apartment, all of the aspects of that kind of living accommodation should be reviewed. So probably on his essay, as he writes it or she writes it, he's going to talk about the aspects of those accommodation advantages or disadvantages. So in a way, you have to say something like that gives me the impression that, ah, okay, so this person agrees with this idea, but without really telling me I agree. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Then.
that is not just like you will be always able to find uh, just like the the theoretical knowledge out there at the practice. So that's the reason why I, I disagree with this. It has to be a balance between both. Okay. Okay. That's a good point. But that, that will be well, that, that that will be my main idea, but I don't know if you would like to keep your main idea. I mean. My main idea. Yeah, yeah. Because right now we are doing the the mind map. Okay. Uh, After I have provided my my mind map, which which is that I'm against that. I am against to the to the proposal that the question says. I have supported that proposal. Hi, Freddy. Hi, teacher. I'm so sorry. Uh, I have to go out. Uh, <laughs> The station because my boss called me and I have to get the last number of my partners. All right, no, don't worry about it. It's okay, I understand. Okay, I'm gonna send you to one of the groups okay. and they're working on the introduction. In, well, Rodrigo and Robert, they're working on still on their mind map, okay, because Rodrigo was not in yesterday. But again, it's okay. it's okay, you can go with them, all right, and yes. we'll see uh, if you guys have like. 10 minutes or so to start your introductory paragraph. There you go, Freddy. Thank you so much. Thank you.
develop? No, es que yo pienso que tú querías eh, decir otra cosa. Al desarrollar. Eh, a desarrollar. Eh, desarrollar. Eh, eh, una mejor persona. Pues, ah, al, eh, Sería... To become a better person? No. Mm. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. But but you are talking about you mm. were talking about uh, knowledge about uh, academic. Ah, de verdad. Ah, Ajá. Está bien, tú. To be a, a better person. Tú. Mm -hmm. Encourage students to to study eh, to study. Oh, I know. Aca, uh, academic. To, to prepare. To prepare. Encourage ah. students to ah. to prepare or to study. No. Para estudiar. Para prepararse. To prepare academicamente. Como how how do you write that? Eh, eh, so academic, what do you want to say, Maribel? Eh, Prepararse uh, académicamente. Eh, pre, eh, uh, prepare academically. Se, ya lo dice que. Uh, uh, yeah, but, um, sure, you can use yeah. it that way. Okay. And, uh, hello, and, oh, and no. to be a better person. To be a better person. Teacher. teacher. Hello, 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 hello. We have, hello. We have teacher, we have uh, the idea here. I I would okay. like to, to read. Sure, to read. yes, please. Teacher, okay, intro, introduction. Teachers are people that transmit, transmit us many knowledge. Uh -huh. uh, to all of us, they could be a good leaders or bad leaders because uh -huh. they can induce to masses uh, of the countries. Okay. They can induce the masses of the countries. Uh, they encourage students to prepare to prepare academically in the and be and to and be a better person in the life. In life, okay. Person in life. Uh -huh. Then I think we have to include uh, some of, some of the uh, of the paragraph mm -hmm. uh, about pedagogy, knowledge, skills, experience, and values. We have, but, but not in uh, the introductory paragraph, Maribel. No, 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 uh -huh. no. But only on your only, essay. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, but mm, okay. But but I think that intro introduction is uh -huh. very short. We have. We have to explain more in, in the in the introduction. Okay. How many lines do you have right now? I don't know, maybe maybe four. <laughs> yeah, usually yeah. an introduction it's between let's say five and seven lines. It's not a big, big introduction. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because remember that what you're doing is you're taking the question, your essay question and putting it somehow there all right so you don't need to write so much on the entry paragraph okay yeah and then also guys then we can finish in that sure you could yeah just make sure that remember that knowledge is uncountable so you don't say many knowledge you say much knowledge or a lot of knowledge or lots of knowledge okay when you were reading it, Maribel, just make sure you change many. Many is for countable, and knowledge is uncountable. Ah, uh, okay. So I have to much knowledge. That's right. Much. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now remember that this uh, the idea for us to be together is to come up with one introductory paragraph, but if you like Guillermo, Julia, and Maribel, you're gonna send me the that essay. I mean, perhaps you would need to add something else so to make it different, right? Otherwise, it's going to be the same introductory paragraph for the three of you. Okay, I will okay. send. I will. I will send to you this 
this this topic, teacher. Okay. I know. I, I, I like it. Uh -huh. I yeah. know, Maribel. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's but, okay. I, but I'm not. I'm not a teacher. Oh, nice. I'm not a teacher, uh, Jesse. No, <laughs> I can't. My 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 son and daughter uh, tell me no, ma no mom, no mommy, because you always uh, are are uh, uh, no uh, no angry, <laughs> angry because they don't understand me. Oh, they don't understand goodness. me. And they they mommy. don't study. So ah. I feel so bad. Oh, oh my so goodness, Marie. I, I don't have a patient. You're Listen, not patient. patient. Oh my no. goodness, Maribel. No. Oh, paciencia. <laughs> it's a gift, uh -huh. Maribel. So, so, teacher, I think you are a good teacher. <laughs> I think you are a, a good teacher because you encourage the the student to study, and and you you make uh, the students uh, to be comfortable yeah and okay. you and you too uh, encourage her student, uh, the students to to develop the 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 subject and aha uh -huh, you are very good congratulations <laughs> thank you maribel that's very nice <laughs> so so are you a graduate teacher yes i am maribel ah okay yeah, mm -hmm. I studied at university, the professorado and licenciatura. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Very good, guys. All right, so we yeah. have like about one or two more minutes and then we're going to stop. But at least you have the idea of how to write one, okay? So that, that was the purpose of this um, session today. Tomorrow, we'll continue a little bit talking about this. Okay, so you guys have like um, a bit of a better knowledge of what we're doing and then you can from there you can finish your essay for the weekend and then you can send it to me. Okay, I think teacher, I think okay. teacher, we have to do the conclusion. Yeah, probably you know what, yeah. tomorrow Maribel, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Perhaps tomorrow uh -huh. we're gonna, like, I'm gonna show you, uh, like, what I did today, like, show you an example of an introduction. I might show you an example of a conclusion. So at least you okay. have the beginning of your essay and the end of your essay. And then okay. you, just, you can just work on your body paragraphs, okay? Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. probably we're gonna work it that way, guys, okay? Okay, thanks. Excellent, thanks. all right, thank you. Thank Bye. you. Great, thank you, teacher. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. Good night. All right. I think everybody is back. Yeah. Okay. So, guys, it's time to go. I have the other class as always. So I was just telling Maribel and Guillermo and Julia, the idea for us to do this today is for you to like advance a little bit on your introductory paragraph that you have to write. And then tomorrow, we're, I'm gonna give you a sample of a conclusion, all right? And what you should um, include on your conclusion. So at least you have the beginning of your essay and the end of your essay, okay? Kind of. So. Uh, you're left off with uh, preparing on your own the paragraph paragraphs, okay, which are only two. But at least you have the beginning and, and the end of your essay, all right? So that's what we're going to be working on tomorrow, guys. So I hope okay. as, as every night you have been with me almost every night and almost everybody has been with me every, like for a month already. I cannot believe it's been a month. It's like, has, it has like, I don't know. It has flown, all right? So it's been super, super fast. So make sure that you finish everything. Make sure that you send your papers so you get enrolled for TOEFL 3. It would be a very good idea for you to continue. As I said, if you keep on being my students and if I'm like your teacher for the next course, I'm gonna show you like the thesis statement, more detailed, the topic sentence, more detailed. And we're gonna do like a lot of practices surrounding those topics, okay? so. 
hopefully we're going to be together next course all right but this is it i'll see you guys tomorrow thank you so much in case you were not able to finish everything try to advance at least on your introductory paragraph so we are ready for, uh, with that for tomorrow so we can work on our conclusion paragraph okay okay so thank you okay. so much i'll see you tomorrow have a great day tomorrow and rest bye keep safe thank you bye bye bye, bye. 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 bye.